Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a new part of Android tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to use the camera app available with the Android device. So here in this project, we check out, we just check the project using the Android virtual device. So first, you have to set up camera on the Android virtual device. So go to the window option and choose the Android virtual device and choose the Android virtual device and select the edit option here is the camera option here is the front camera I choose it as emulated here is the bike camera option and choose it as emulated and don't forget to provide some internal storage size that means SD card size so and click OK ok now I just create and I just edit the Android virtual device for adding camera and now I start the Android virtual device and click launch ok now the device is started so now here I already created a project called uh, camera test and here is the main activity so I just add a button for starting the camera app and also place an image view for showing the camera taken by the camera app and here you need to provide a default image for the image view so here I just choose the IC launcher and click OK so here is the image view this is the XML of the that XML of that layout I change the ID of the button as BN and change the text of the button as uh, capture capture image here is the image view change the ID of the image view I change it as IMG okay okay our, now our AVD is now booting okay so before go before using the camera you need to set permission on the Android manifest file so open the Android manifest file uh, you need to add the permission here and here use feature use feature Android name Android name equal to Android dot send hardware Android dot hardware dot provide the hardware name here this camera okay one more tag Android error code I make it as true by specifying the Android record as true, this this means that uh, you need you must need the camera on the device in order to install this application. So if the record is false, there is no need to have a camera on the device for installing this application. Okay. So now again go to the main activity. Here I'm going to create an object of button button BN import button and connect the button object using find view by ID method find view by ID uh, dot ID dot here the object name is button BN and you need to cast it into button okay now I'm going to create an action listener for the button bn dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener uh, you need to import some package here here you need a semicolon okay so 
the camera app is also an activity or it's an application so you can use the indent object indent filter for starting that camera app so here I'm going to create an indent object indent indent i equal to new indent and provide you need to import indent also okay provide an argument here the argument is media store media store dot here is the action action image capture for capturing an image okay now here I'm going to start now I'm going to start the camera up here there are two ways of starting an activity first one is start activity and second one is start activity for result so here in this case whenever we invoke the camera application that application will capture an image and send the result into the activity that call it so here so we need to invoke that camera application using the start activity for result so before doing it you have to check whether the camera application is available on your device so if I dot uh, resolve activity and get packet manager if it is not null if it is not equal to null you can now start the now you can start the cap start the uh, camera app so start activity for result and provide that indent object okay you need the request code here so here I just create a request code int int request code equal to 1 also pass that request code here because it is start activity for result request code okay so now you have to create the method for getting the result back so before doing that you need to create an object of image view also image view img also connect that object using find view by it method img equal to find view by id r dot id dot here the identifier is img and you need to cast it into image view okay so now I am going to create the method for handling the result so here is the method public void on activity result public void on activity result it has three arguments first one is the request code second one is again an integer is the result code and final one is an indent object indent data okay so first we have to check the request request code we have to authenticate that request code if uh, request code equal to uh, that request code and if result ok if the result code equal to result ok result code equal to uh, result ok now you can accept the data so here uh, the data is a bitmap image so whenever we capture an image actually the camera application will capture two will generate two option for that image first one is a thumbnail view and second one is that large image so here I just accept accept that thumbnail view on this method 
So we can access the data that means that thumbnail view on the indent object from the indent object. So in order to uh, get that data here I am just create an object of bundle bundle equal to uh, new bundle just initialize and just create an object of bundle class so now I'm going to get the bundle from the indent object so data sorry so bundle equal to data dot get x class so now we got the bundle from the indent now I'm going to create an object of bitmap bitmap BMP and now I am going to get the data that means that bitmap image from the bundle object so bundle dot using the get method so uh, here is a key here the default key for that bitmap image sent by the camera app is data you can use it as data this is a fixed value also it's an object so you need to cast it into bitmap okay now we got the bitmap image on this uh, bitmap uh, bitmap image object so now we have to set that onto the image view so img dot set there is a method called uh, set image bitmap and use pass that bitmap object okay now we complete the coding now you can run the project so right click the project and choose run as android application yes save it okay now we successfully launched the application and here is the capture image button I click it now the camera app is open up and I capture an image here and click OK now here is the bitmap will appear on the image view guys this is how we just simply take an image take a picture using camera app available on any android device thank you for watching please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates see you in the next part